Here, here are some stories making headline news across African newspapers today, Wednesday, October the 9th, 2019. This is from the Daily Nation in Kenya. Kenya schoolgirls nominated for $51,000 award. What? Now, these students from Kisumu Girls High School developed a mobile application to help girls deal with FGM. Isn't that nice? Here they are, posing for a photo with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Hmm. Do you think that our Yahoo Yahoo boys know that they can design an app that can earn them $51,000? Should we, should we tell them that there are better ways to use technology to make a living, even from the most remote part of Africa? Nah, too cheesy. Nah, too easy. That's what they will say. Now, nonsense. Oh, oh, this is wonderful. Impeachment inquiry. Apostle Suleiman urges Christians to pray for Trump. Hey, yeah. The man of God said that even though Trump is not perfect, he meant well for America. You see, you see these are the kind of statements that upset Trump. Let me, let me talk to Apostle Suleiman. Uh, uh, man of God, Suleiman, how dare you say that Trump, a stable genius, a man with great and unmatched wisdom, how dare you say that he's not perfect? Are you trying to compare Trump's Tommy Daniels with your Stephanie Otobo? Is, is that what you're doing? Eh? Mind your business, so mind your business. Direct your shithole prayers to your perfect leader. Muhammad Buhari. Nonsense. Stop talking about praying for Trump. Ah, this is from Uganda. Six Ugandan media organizations risk licenses being revoked because they covered the arrest and trial of Bobby Wine. Now, now, for those of you who do not know, Bobby Wine is the man giving President Yoweri Museveni a headache. Museveni has arrested Bobby Wine seven times and tortured him. But the man is still going on and dreaming of being president of Uganda in 2021. Oh, Lord. So, in that case, I have to say to my brother, Shore, man, your work is cut out for you. Your work is cut out for you. It may be a long way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This, is, this, is, this is back to Nigeria. Igbos can go to hell if denied 2020. 23 presidency. Nobody will beg, says Juned Mohammed. Ah, 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 my fellow doctor. Ah, 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 beg. Ah, take it easy. Nobody who has lived in Nigeria is afraid of going to hell. Nobody. I don't know if you have listened of late to Igbo people who really matter. I mean, I mean, not those getting a beating at New Year festivals. No, 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 no. And not those doing the beatings. No, 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 no. no. The Igbo people that matter don't talk about Igbo presidency. They only want a functional country. Wallahi. And I'm sure it is something that you too want. As a doctor in good standing, you know that a patient does not care about the rest or the ethnicity of the doctor that cured him or her. Tajiko? Aha! I know, I know you get it. Oh, oh, oh this, this is the big news. Sex for grades. No more cold room experience as Unilad shuts location. Yeah. So, so, finally, the BBC documentary has led Unilag authorities to discover that they had a slaughterhouse right on campus where the souls of 17-year-old girls are destroyed by the old men with pot bellies. Here is my fear now. This is the only place where these pot bellied professors who have lost their faculties tell their wives that they go to dance and exercise. See, six months from now, check out how big their bellies must have ballooned. Nigeria to spend a quarter of 2020 budget on debt payment. 
Dana, President Muhammad Buhari presented a budget of 10.3 trillion naira in real currency, like 33 billion, to the National Assembly. Think about this, if 25% is to service debt, which stands at $81.3 billion, the only thing left is money needed to pay workers. Nothing else is left, and that is why there are no new projects proposed in the budget. So, ladies and gentlemen, the secret to Nigeria's continuing survival as a nation is in the $25 billion in remittances that get into Nigeria every year. Chicken, huh? So next time they tell you Nigerians suffering abroad that you cannot vote, you should know what to tell them. That you should know the finger to give them. You know, you should. Now, now, this is the funniest story of the day. <laughs> I paid back 1.1 million naira loan in kind. Woman Dow Scott. Now, now, this woman, a businesswoman, borrowed money from a man. The woman said that she supplied the man rice. The man who gave her loan. And for the balance that she paid in kind on three occasions in a hotel. In fact, in fact, she started paying back in kind even before she got the loan, according to her. Which is, which is strange. I mean, that's not how you borrow money, you know. Anyway, her lawyer said that the only question for the court to determine is whether she overpaid, considering that the going rate for payment in kind for women like her is 250k a pop. I'm telling you what they said in court. Now, now, don't ask me if a pop is a session or is a round of golf. I, I, I don't know these things. I, I'm, I'm born again. I'm just telling you. This, this, it's been the headline news for today. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Ah, it's amazing. Africa, Africa, it's amazing. Ah. Thank you.